my name is Jacka and I love to bring my Procreate illustrations to life and it seems like you guys do too because a lot of you, like surprisingly, a lot of you really like my Procreate to After Effects tutorial. So in this video, I'm coming back at you today with another tutorial where I show you how to animate this cute and colorful lettering in After Effects. So, here's how I prepared my Procreate layers for animation. At the very bottom, I have my background layer, and right above that, I have a group for the text layers, which if we open this up, I have Not Without My, two layers for the drop shadow, my main layer for the word glitter, right above that, I have another layer for my gradient effect, which if we tap on this and select Clipping Mask, it's gonna completely cover the original color of my glitter layer, and then my last layer is my my glitter outline which kind of just helps make the word pop even more and I've also set that on a clipping mask. So if we close up my text layer, the last few layers that I have are my sparkles because it wouldn't be a jack illustration without my sparkles. So I made three layers or three frames for my sparkle animation. I like to draw my stars growing or shrinking gradually across three frames. I also like to move the points of the stars either left or right or also animate some stars popping or bursting and also I usually add like little stars, little dots here and there, little crosses and last but not the least is a layer for our watermark so nobody steals our art. And once I'm done preparing my file, I click this little wrench icon right here and under the share option, I export my Procreate file as a PSD Photoshop file, which I then airdrop to my MacBook. But if you're on Windows or you're on PC, you can also mail the Photoshop file to yourself. <laughs> Open up After Effects and let's set our composition settings to pixel aspect ratio into square pixels, frame rate is 12, and our duration is 4 seconds long. Hit OK, and now those settings will automatically apply to all our Photoshop files that we'll import later on. So we can actually just delete this composition that we created because we don't need it anymore, and instead let's bring in our Photoshop file. On this pop-up, make sure the import kind is set to composition dash retain layer sizes and the option editable layer styles is selected. Hit OK and you'll notice that when we open up this composition, all of our layers is arranged in the exact same way as it is in our Procreate file and all of the groups that we've had in Procreate is automatically converted into its own composition. And when we go to composition settings, all of our settings that we've done earlier is automatically applied to this as well. Now let's start by animating the word glitter. Double click on this text layer and again on the glitter main composition layer and select our gradient layer. Click P on your keyboard to bring up the position property and with your playhead at the beginning of the timeline, click on this stopwatch icon right here which will create one keyframe where the playhead is. Next, let's move our playhead down to about the seventh frame of our animation right about here which you'll see the numbers right here. We're on our seventh frame and then create a second keyframe by pressing this diamond keyframe icon right here. Press on your gradient layer and then hold down shift and then move the gradient layer downward to reveal a different color. So let's go to 106 of our timeline and let's create a third keyframe. And for this, let's move our gradient layer upward. Again, I'm holding down shift to make our movement nice and straight and neat. And lastly, I'm gonna select the first keyframe and I'm gonna hit Command C to copy it. And then let's move our playhead down to two seconds. And I'm gonna hit Command V to paste our keyframe. So now we have a total of four keyframes that will create one complete loop of our gradient animation. And we just want it to loop continuously. So to do that, go back to your position property and then while pressing down on Alt on your keyboard, click the stopwatch icon to reveal the extra expression properties panel and then type in loop and then capital O for out and then open and close parentheses. Now the expression panel is case sensitive so make sure that it's only the O of out that's capitalized and there are no spaces. Press anywhere outside of that expression property panel and what that does is now our animation is going to loop continuously all throughout however long you want your animation to go for. 
And now we're done animating our glitter layer. So I'm just gonna exit out of these two compositions that we've opened earlier and go back into our main composition. Next, let's animate our nice background layer. Go to our effects and presets panel. And if you don't see this, go to your window menu and make sure that effects and presets is checked. Type in wave warp, drag and drop this over to your background layer. And in the effect controls panel, make sure that wave type is set to sign. Wave height is 10. And let's make the wave width 110. And then for direction, let's set it to minus 7 so that it's slightly angled. And wave speed is set to 1. This will create one complete loop of the wave warp effect for the duration of our 4 second animation. And you'll notice that this causes the edges of my background illustration to wave. And we don't want that because we can kind of see the black default background peeking through the edges. So to fix that, select the background layer and press S on your keyboard which will bring up the scale property and make sure that these numbers are visible but if they're not you can just click this icon on the lower left corner of after effects to reveal this column and let's scale up our background illustration to about 102.4 percent now we have a nice wavy background without the black edges and last but not the least is my favorite part in animating all of my illustrations which are the sparkles so let's select these three sparkles sparkle layers and I'm just gonna make sure that these are set to visible and let's move the playhead to about three frames and then press alt close bracket and that's just gonna trim our sparkle layers to a duration of three frames long now I'm just gonna sequence out these three frames so that they show up one after the other like this and selecting all three layers again press command shift C on your keyboard to bring up the pre compose panel and let's rename our composition to comp sparkles make sure that move all attributes is checked as well as adjust composition duration is checked hit ok and that's just gonna flatten out or group those three layers into its own composition so we just want this sparkle layer to loop all throughout the four second duration of our animation and to do that right click on your sparkles composition and under time, select enable time remapping. Move our playhead one keyframe behind this second keyframe, and then create a keyframe right behind that, and then let's delete this keyframe. The sparkles now loop all throughout the duration of our animation. And that's it! So simple but super cute. So when you're happy with your animation, which I am, click on your timeline composition just to make sure that it's selected. And then up on the composition menu, click add to Adobe Media Encoder Cube. And this will automatically open up this other program called Adobe Media Encoder, which is what we use to export Premiere and After Effects videos. And I like to use this format, which is called H.264. It's one of the default options. And then preset, I just keep it to match source dash high bitrate. And then just set where you want your file to save. I just like to usually keep it in my desktop. And then hit this play icon to export your lovely animation. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then I'd really appreciate if you can give this video a like to help with the YouTube algorithm, as well as subscribe to my channel for more creative content like this. And let me know what type of Procreate or After Effects tutorials you want to see from me next. As always, create your own adventures and I'll see you in the next video.